Ladies and gentlemen, now for the official introduction, the fighter fighting out the red corner, weighed in at 61.6. He's 20, stands 6 tall. He fights out of one MMA academy and next generation and hails from Salford, Dylan Memento Mori Maggie. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 61.6. He's 20, stands 5, 8. He fights out of Bayerski Martial Arts and hails from Halifax, Hayden Baldwin. Your referee, Mr. Paul Crossley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, cage door set to close on our 14th contest of the evening. This is an amateur bantamweight contest. Hayden Baldwin fighting out of the blue corner. He's in the black progress shorts as he takes on Dylan McGee, the one MMA prospect, four and three in the gray armor shorts and holding the center of the cage at the moment. This is a fight I've been very excited for. We've had uh, both lads on the shows before. They're both solid grapplers. Hayden Bolden comes from a, you know, a predominantly grappling gym. Uh, McGee's got the uh, reach here. He's a very tall bantamweight, but this was a fight. When I matched it, I thought this is going to be a good fight. Yeah, can Hayden Baldwin close that distance, get in? Oh! Big punch from McGee's put him down. McGee explodes, looking for the finish. Does he want to stand up and get oh. him to stand up? He's landing some nah, big punches I'd there. Be working. He's got to be careful. Baldwin trying to tie him up now, but... Oh. Baldwin is a very good grappler off his backhand on, on the top. He's got a body triangle there, very much a defensive position. I'd have been tempted if I was McGee to stand back and get, say, yeah, get back to his feet. You know, there's a reason that Baldwin's pull, holding him close with that body triangle. That's to clear those cobwebs. Yeah, he landed some big blows from when he was when he dropped him and he was standing above him as well. But now, landing shots from the bottom, and is he going to start to look to threaten with some submissions? He's opened that guard up, and he's, he, he put his foot on the hip for a little bit, and he's got took it back off again. He's got hold of the arm there. Bringing it up high, looking maybe to threaten the triangle. Yeah, you can tell that he's very comfortable off of his back. He just needs to maybe, you know, avoid those big punches from McGee. Well, the, the, the simple fact is, you know, he went down, but as soon as he was down, he cleared his eyes, and now he's doing everything to keep Dylan McGee from raining down. I love the way he pushes his head up as well. Yeah. So you can see he's trying to get his feet in. He's threatening with everything. Yeah, but McGee looks very comfortable from the top, though. He doesn't look like he's in any danger, uh, and he's able to prop up and land some blows as well. It's interesting watching the guard from the bottom, actually, because he, keep, he keeps hooking the legs. He puts the body triangle on. You don't always see the body triangle from that nope. position, really. He's done it again. But it, again, it takes, a, takes away some of the breath, takes away some of the maneuverability. Yes, it keeps McGee close to him, but right now, that's what he wants. He looks like he's positioned in there to roll across for an arm bar yeah. as well. He's got hold of the leg there, and now he's let that go. Good work. I mean, he's, again, McGee's not going to... This, right now, he's not seeing anything he hasn't seen before. No. But, but he's going to have to stay stay on his A game and, and not fall asleep. No, absolutely. You you, you, you you can't. You rest for one moment. Again, he's yeah, landing some big blows. I'd be tempted to say stand up and let him stand up because you, you clearly were winning on the feet. I mean, you dropped him. Absolutely. We're, and we've seen, the, you know, we've seen the, an up kick really yeah, change the, the complexion of, course, of the fight yeah. as well. So Nice kick to the body there. 10 seconds oh, left look to at go. That. Well done to Baldwin. Oh. Big punch from Baldwin. That was a good first round, that. I'd, I'd give that round to, to McGee. I think we're around to McGee, but Baldwin looked very comfortable when he exploded back to his feet then. He just needs to be, per yeah, again, McGee was controlling on top. Baldwin, though, didn't just lie there, shoulders splayed to the canvas. He kept moving to the hips, kept readjusting the guard, looking for things. Just Dylan McGee, wise to it all at the moment. Yeah, they just showed the, the drop there from Dylan McGee as well. Big punch. And even though Baldwin was comfortable off his back and he was active off his back, he was on his back Oh yeah, for, because of what McGee did. McGee put him on his back. Absolutely no doubt who took that round. But McGee was kept honest, didn't have everything his own way on top. And Baldwin's head looks clear. He looks confident. He's not, he's not breathing heavy. You know, Norse McGee... I love how tall McGee is as a bantamweight. I mean, he's standing there with his coach there, Menga, you know, one of the one of the top flyweights in the country yeah, a few years above ago. Him. Yeah, and look how tall he is. He must he must be close to six foot. Or is it just because he's in there with other small, other small I, fighter? Well, Paul Crossley's close to six foot, you'd have thought. And Dylan McGee not 
not giving too much away in terms of height to our referee. No, he's certainly tall as a bantamweight, and he seems to know how to use his range as well. Uh, Bolden seems a bit more wary then after being dropped now. He doesn't want to. Oh, look at that. Nice entry there to go underneath that kick. And as well. then on straight on to the back, trying to get a hook in, but a good scramble from McGee. Oh, I love. Look how that. Look how active. So he's lost that position there, really. Has but he he's going to pull him round. He's going to try and work his way either. He's going to either pull him into him and threaten the triangle. I think there he's, he's got the arm there to, to, as, a, as more as a defensive thing, but I think we've got McGee on top again. I think he's uh, he's kind of come off the side of the bat there. Uh, he's jumped and he needs to use Threat that for a sweep, doesn't he? Threatening the Kimura. This, I love watching some of the scrambles we've had tonight. It's, there's so much goes into a scramble to Absolutely. be able to move someone's body weight around like that. Uh, and when you've got someone who knows, who knows how to do it, it's great to watch. Look at that. Is he going to go for a, a, an knee bar? Now looking for the leg. He's gone for a straight knee bar there. That does not look nice at all. Bowling goes for a straight knee bar. We've had a knee bar finish before, but not for a while. I think the last one was Summer Only on uh, Lexi Rock. Yep. He's let that go. But he's going to... Good work again, McGee doing everything to try and stay on the back. Yeah, Mc, Mc, it's strange because McGee's on his back, but uh, Hayden Baldwin's on top. Good scramble. Nice, look at that again. And McGee drags him back down. Is he in half guard, half guard there? He's got one leg hooked in. He's done that body triangle again on the leg. That's unusual, that. Just trying to hold McGee in some position, trying to Shoulder keep strike him there, there but McGee. If you're McGee, you're going to be happy with this. You get to slowly work out of that half guard if you want. Lots of shoulder pressure. Yeah, he's looking Staying very heavy. calm there. Very good. Referee wants to see a little bit more action. To be honest with you, I've been very happy with the action. Uh, sitting here watching it as a commentator, as a fan, uh, I think the action's been very good. They've both kept on moving all the time. Yeah, it's not like it's sort of a lay and pray. It's just making sure that when they do when he does throw something that it's going to land and not give anything up. I have no problem with the patience being shown here. No, the shoulder strike there as well. Oh, oh. has he gone up there? Has he got, has he got oh. a possibly a triangle choke? Yes. He's got it on and, and he's, he's rolled it over and he's got the and arm. And he's got the arm. That's it, surely. How is he still not tapping? Oh, a there, it, there it is. Oh, he's rolled through it. How has he rolled through the arm? Absolutely no quit no. at all. How is but, he still in the fight? I don't know, but Hayden Baldwin. Wow. That Sh takes some doing. That bar, that arm was fully extended. I don't know. What a finish to the round. He's Whoa. Just, Look at Hayden. He's thinking, what do I have to do? That was on. That, that was, was on. fully on. How did he roll through that? Whoa. Does that, does that give him the round at the end with that? I mean, that was the closest to finishing the fight. Because he was controlling the, the yeah, fight, but no, damage, damage. Still, still oh, I think. I don't know. Well, again, wiser heads than ours yes. have to come up with that decision. What a, what, look, at that was amazing. Yeah. We've got the replay on there now. I mean, how did I he mean, not tap from that arm? Mounted, gets the arm as look well. At that. I mean, and when he went belly down, but oh. he just kept rolling. He kept, I mean, I thought there that was, was it. the Jesus. I mean, that was his wow. hyper. No quit at all. What? That was just unbelievable. <laughs> Again, what an amazing transition. I don't know what... What an amazing what, transition. I don't know what they're putting in the water up at the one MMA Academy, but whatever it is, it makes them flexible. Oh, what a fight. We've, what, what, they've had three amazing fights tonight at one MMA Academy. Not that that's... We don't expect anything less from one MMA, to be fair. Three minutes to separate these two young bantamweights. we got Dylan McGee, the black, gray armor shorts. If you can't armbar him, surely you've got to go for a, a, a rear naked choke. Oh, oh has he got that neck. on? McGee, has he got that? I think that's, is that on? Nope. No, he's let go, but again, he's on top. And he's he's looked, he's looked strong all night on top. He's so rangy, and he's looked really good from top position all night. And he, he can, he's got arms that don't bend, so you can't armbar him. Can't give Hayden Baldwin an inch of space to attack with, even from his back. And look. He's up again now. The and he made control. that look. I mean, he can. He brings that He's very high flexible, guard up isn't he? so yeah. easily. There are lots of flexibility in those hips. He's so McGee is going to have. 
McGee's going to have to be wary of the triangle and here we go, rubber guard. See, we've seen in the past where you've got a guy on the back. If he's more active off of his back, the judges will give it to the fighter on his Absolutely. back. Absolutely. If they're not doing enough. Nice. And this is how this is how Dylan McGee is probably going to have to see the round out from here. He, he, he's got to be cautious. He can't get caught by anything. Hayden even, is probably the most active fighter we've had tonight off of his back. Well, everything he's doing is looking to improve his position or threaten. Is he going for an, is, it an, is that an Oma Plata? A go-go Plata? Maybe. I get mixed up with him. Oh! Big punch, and he used it to pass into half guard, which takes away the legs of the, uh, the threat of the legs a little bit. Yeah, and again, is trying to get chest to chest, nice and sticky up high, just lots of pressure. Wow, another fight that's absolutely living. He's oh. going to stand them up. I don't know if I agree with that stand up. Um, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. And I, I think the man on the bottom was they won't give doing enough. The man on the top. I mean, Hayden Bowles with the most active person off his back we've had all night, I yeah. think. And now he's got a minute to separate himself in the eyes of the judges from McGee, who you figure must have taken two of the first two. Well, I, I, I edged the second round with the way it ended to Baldwin. But this oh, round is all, is, all, is all McGee for me. His Baldwin's on top now, though, but he's, I think he needs a finish at this point, I think. Now so now McGee's Mr. going control, for mission control. Rubber. He was trying to put his arm under the neck yeah. and squeeze it down with the neck and the leg. That's the unusual But joke. again, just locking his man down. You're not going to take a lot of damage from this position. Baldwin's gonna, not going to be able to look for many subs while he's trying to extricate himself from that tangle of limbs. And look at him rolling for there as well. Is he going to try and put the... It looks yeah, like I mean, he's trying to go for the arm. It feels like Baldwin's just going for control now, just to ride this fight well, out. Well, and why not? I don't think he's done enough to win with control, though. I think, nope. I think McGee will edge the third round, personally. Uh, I think it's been a, a brilliant fight. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant fight. fight. Oh, when they do that, don't sweat my... Two fighters that have delivered once again. They leave it all in the cage at Almighty. Absolutely. I just think... I just think McGee perhaps was looking to finish the fight a little more, looking to be a little more aggressive, but Baldwin, you know, when you're that confident off your back, when you're that confident with your... You know, he didn't look, he didn't look like he was desperate to get out of some of these positions. And Again, wiser heads than ours will have to... Cracking fight. Absolutely. Cracking fight. I, I was excited when I, when I put this fight together. I knew it was going to be a good fight. Hayden's always in good fights. Uh, you know, one MMA, always in good fights. I, I, I knew this was going to be It's just nice good. when the camps and the athletes don't disappoint, right? When, you, when yeah. you get what you expected, when you put it together, you were expecting a fight that would be competitive and go everywhere, and that's what we got. Let's turn it over to Mr. Seth Khan, and he will make this result official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. 29-28, 29-28, and 29-28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Dylan Memento Mori McGee. Please show your appreciation for Hayden Baldwin.